Hello. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I finally got this set up a little better. You're going to see some darkness. That's okay, some shadowing. But hi, how are you? It's evening time. I'm where I'm located. I've done my power hour. I've taken a shower. I've played around in my deco with my planner. I have a couple of things I'd like to ask your opinion on. Um, I've had a full day's work. I've got a glass of wine. I'm like ready to go. You know what I mean? I've got some chill music going. And I'm just waiting for you guys. So welcome back to my channel. Just in case somebody missed it. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I wanted to say that, hi, Scent, is it Scent Hudson or is it Kent? Scent, as in Cynthia, maybe? Hi, welcome, welcome, thanks for joining me today. Yes, okay, good. Okay, Cynthia, Cynthia, I'm just going to call you Cynthia. Um... Welcome, welcome, thanks for joining. Definitely I'm excited about um, being back in rings. I'm kind of missing my bound book. I, I have it, I have a fresh one ready to go. I'm still using my Hobonichi Weeks as my like functional, extremely functional planner. It's still amazing. Um, I really do enjoy it. I use it for my monthly and any kind of like forward planning and things like that because it's just super important. So I wanted to share, this is Feb from February and now we're into March, but this is how it looked by the end of the month. Pretty busy, right? And yeah, I really, I'm really loving my Hobonichi. Hi, Jolene. Welcome from South Dakota. Amazing. I love a good South Dakota moment. It's beautiful up there. Just a beautiful area. I used to vacation in South Dakota. Well, not necessarily vacation, but during the summer, I would do, um, I would do like a ministry up there and, um, build churches and things like that on the Sioux Reservations. And I really enjoyed that, and it was just such an amazing experience. So, thank you for watching. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's get right into this because I'm cooking dinner. The air fryer is a must. Jolene says today is 65 degrees and B E A U. Beautiful. Yes, girl. It's actually pretty chilly here today. It's not too bad. It's probably in its 50s. It's not, you know, that's not really that chilly, but for Louisiana it is, I guess. But um, it's actually a beautiful day as well. So I'm glad you're having a beautiful day where you are. Um, let's get right into this for those of you watching back. I don't know what this is on the planner, but I need to figure that out um i'm in i decided for spring or just for right now switch over to my muppet my cookie monster this is definitely my most favorite julia that i have um it's just so beautiful and soft and unique looking um very lucky to have snagged this bad boy when i did and it was pretty much brand new, brand new as well. Um, I need to condition it. It's got some imperfections, but I don't care. It's just so gorgeous. I love this so much. The color is everything. I love a good blue moment. Um, but it's like a gray blue. But yeah. Um, okay, let's get into this. So this is my setup for now. I do have a couple of questions or I need opinions because I am doing the whole spring thing I love this look right here but I like a very graphic look in my planner but I've got this um, lavender 
sparkle diamond ollie clip on the front and then here excuse the glare but here's the inside I've got these two vinyls here from uh, Kitty Zombie Co. By far the most, the best quality vinyls to date that I have ever received or bought even. Um, I mean, I've bought from quite a few shops vinyls and these are definitely by far the best um, quality. You can just feel the quality. I'm using a Stadler Tripless Fine Liner in this kind of like, um, how do I say, Periwinkle Blue, which is one of my favorite colors, Periwinkle Blue. And I'm using this purple um, mild liner. Give me one second, let me turn off this here. forgot to do something I was working on organizing some of the stuff on my desk or in my office space and getting things off of my printer because I've had a tendency to like store stuff on top of my printer I know it was bad but um I was gonna print out some of my daily inserts and I forgot oh this is so dusty my certificates and like awards <laughs> are so dusty I gotta put these suckers where I can hang them up. Okay. Here I come. Okay. Then uh, this is my new Ollie clip. I love it. It's I forget what they it's a lab pink a purple and white. Uh do they call it striped star Ollie clip? really really cute i really like that color look different on the actual uh page though and then these post-its that my friend from katie gave me really beautiful hollow in this pocket i've got meg B plans stickers that i've purchased in the silver foil that kind of goes with the whole vibe i guess um, I use the same kind of stickers. When I find something that works, I stick with it, you guys. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I'm pretty, pretty lame, I guess. Um, yeah, there you have it. I've got the Instagram icon, heart dividers, bow dividers, church icon, to buy script, cancel script, and to do script. And the size is really nice. Knife, knife. It's nice. It's fairly small. Really great for the Hobonichi as well. Um, I found that this is really a fantastic size. It's about it's a one and a half inch um, sticker, so it fits in a lot of different things. So I really like that. So that's in this envelope pocket here. Then I've got, um, I cut down these post-its from Post-It, and it's just a grid. I really, these are some of my favorite post-its, so I cut them down to fit in personal size. I've got some pay, uh, note pages. Um, I forgot where I got these from, but they're super cute super super cute they don't have a sticky back or anything yeah honey just flip them yes, and then put the sauce yes, on top okay hello, yes my husband says hello his birthday was yesterday we're gonna celebrate this weekend but i've been cooking for him pretty much daily um in this zipper part oh on the zipper i still have my little kitty cup tea cup with the kitty inside it's got the scandinavian art on it so cute and inside the pocket it holds a lot by the way this is a Giulio Campania so it has a lot of fun pockets and stuff um, I've kind of been tempted to try out the Mika but I like having the big back pocket for important um, for important 
<laughs> Sorry, I know the glare was crazy for important um, papers. In this pocket, by the way, I moved that over because of the glare. Um, I've got two, a few of my... Um, yeah, yeah, no more than like 15, really. Okay, air fryers are amazing, everybody, so easy. Um, my grid post-its, I've got a set of these, and I absolutely love them. They're small enough for my Hobonichi weeks, and it's such a good size, and of course, simple. Um, I really like these. So I got the, this is actually, they called it mint, but it's the same color as my Gilio, so I don't know. And purple, lavender. Um, I got a, pulled off a few of those from the pad and put those in there. I do like to color code, color coordinate what I'm using. And then I've got my dots. This is my daughter's sheet pretty much. And it's home and then just fun stuff. My, my sheet, Aaron's work. I've used a lot of the blue. So I've got huge rolls of this off of the Amazon. So I just use those. And then I'm not done yet. I've also got these two. Um, Avery labels, Avery tabs, and they're sparkly. And I got it in the lavender and blue. It goes with the vibe. So all of that was in my pockets. And then in this secretarial pocket, by the way, the lining is this beautiful, this is leather as well, this beautiful, soft camel color. Really nice looking. Um, I've got the orchid dot, uh, like an orchid set from cloth and paper. It came in one of the boxes when I was sub subscribed. I love these. So I got those. Those are in the secretarial. Um, in the back I have important paperwork. For those of you, it's huge. This pocket can be opened up so large. I can't take anything out don't think I have anything worthwhile you know I've got a receipt a check stub paperwork from work my schedule and stuff like that just important stuff in the back so I'm not gonna pull that out and this is what the fly leaf looks like isn't it beautiful I mean just this by itself is glorious I don't even need a cover really but I like to have a little deco on the front. It's fun. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Um, some more of those page flags so they're easy to grab. Um, this dashboard is actually one I made with the jelly paper that was when it was came out it was like super super popular before it kind of became super popular. I bought a whole bunch of it and sewed and made a scalloped pocket you can tell it's like badly done but i don't even care hey i made it and it was you know i didn't have to pay an arm and a leg so <laughs> um and it works it does its job so i added that i haven't had this in any of my setups for a long time this is probably the more decorative setup that i've done in a while um and one of the more colorful ones i just put this kitty cat terror card the star this was given to me in my last Kitty Zombie Co. order. She gives these as a freebie. This was my most recent. This was my first one. I'm not sure what they mean, so if you know what the star means, I feel like it kind of, <laughs> feel like it's a good vibe. And then this one, I don't know what it is, whatever this is. That looks like my cat Jojo, so. I love, so I just have that bad boy. And that looks like my cat, one of my other cats. I have a lot of cats, I know. So I just stick it in that pocket and I can see the image with the leopard print, also from Kitty Zombie Co. A lot of my stuff is from there, I'm just gonna let you know that now. And I do have a um, discount code if you're interested. Um, it's Mermaid Kitty 20, so you can get 20% off. And 
then hi everybody just let me know when y'all get here if I'm not yeah okay so I put this leopard print in the front because it's my absolute favorite it's just so beautiful it's this one and that are my favorites is the leopard and this one I love cats obviously on the back this is my index section so it's like everything that's super important I need to while we're here together I need to go ahead and add my um filming dots here So I use this little calendar as a reference or index of when I film my lives or post, not necessarily film, but post my lives. I did film on Monday, ended up not actually posting it. I just wasn't ready. And then, so I posted on Tuesday, but I think it showed up like this morning or something. It loaded, it took a while to load. And then today... There you have it. I actually have a little more time to do this, you guys. So I had to go pretty quickly. My stomach was hurting yesterday. Um, so here I have my bullet system. And then this was last month's filming schedule. And then this is this month's. And then my planning routine. And then my index for my tabs. Now, the only tab that... I don't have in here is notes it's actually included in my dailies um, and I'm using it as my work right now and I do have like a little tab here and I'll share with you all of the tabs so if you look I'm actually on camera I'm going to go ahead and print out um, my labels for my dividers I just peeled off the old ones this is my inbox section this is my like timed weekly so schedule time block productivity tracking things like that just like it's just it's more of a fun thing I'll show you and then I have the full year in here. Well, most of the full year I think I have until, let's see, I have until, this is where my swim schedule is going to be going. I have until the, I don't remember. I know I have it until like October, December. It should be until December. So yeah, the rest of the whole year. Um, then this is my daily tab right here which shares um, my tracking and my notes and then this is my reference and oh I forgot to mention these two this is where this tab is where you'll find my dot key color code dot key that's why there's a dot on it and then this says swim that's where I'm starting my swim lesson so I can go ahead and schedule my swimmers and this is a little briefcase for work and in my reference section I don't have any subcategories right now um, it's just like a plethora of things um, goals I haven't filled out anything in the back yet that's something I really need to sit down and focus on I've, it's been so long since I've been in the rings that I really am trying to get back into the flow of things weekly and daily planning is so easy for me because I do it pretty much similar in everything every type of planner but all this extra stuff uh, I'm not used to but I have a password tracker I need to fill out I'm like serious and I've got a little washi tape um, index here that's the divider for my contacts I need to fill out contacts just in case my phone goes out or whatever and then I've got some extra weeklies that I really like um, but this is supposed to be my family section um, slash home I guess home section and I haven't done anything but a couple of projects so that's something that needs to be worked on and I'm sure I'll do it on a video so now let's get into the flip flip so this is the inbox I have one of these little inbox zero cards don't really follow it um, add to planner 
I think you're gonna see a lot of post-its. My inbox is always a bunch of post-its. Got an iconic vellum um, channels to check out. Um, coming up, this is like stuff coming up um, this month. Um, next month. Hi, honey. I was just about to show off the inserts that I've been using. Um, yeah, I just and this is like a next action list stuff I need to get done. Got some post its here, like I said, post it heavy. Um, to buy, so this is a post it for stickers to buy, a work scripted, tennis lessons scripted, and icon tennis tournament arrow stickers for my color code um just just random this is more household to buy items um this is just a checklist uh i think i've already accomplished all this but it's still there money tracking i haven't really spent any money but since i'm going to start the pool again i'm going to be needing to track that kind of stuff and then my next section, you've got, like I mentioned, my dot key. This is my weekly uh, so productivity, prioritize, kind of focus. Um, okay, so this is, what uh, what week was this? February 15th through the 21st. I do a lot of layer, layering in my weeklies, 22nd through the 28th. And then this is this week. So I actually need to fill out a couple of stuff, a couple of stuff, a couple of things. So let's get into it. So, um, it's on my freaking phone. Okay. So she does have tennis on Thursday. So I did put that. Everything's good there. I pick her up on Friday. She doesn't have school tomorrow. Um, see but I think she does have tennis probably normal time on Friday I don't know um this is a list of things going on at our school this week I kind of put a brief um weather here I use that little spot at the top for weather and then I block my time a bit um, yesterday was my husband's birthday my parents anniversary was the day before my daughter's schedule is in this these dots I used a dot pin that my friend gave me that my friend Katie gave me and then um, these were within work uh, holding certain classes called it's called cluster like the teachers have cluster meetings and I hold some of the classes but they were canceled um oh there was a whole ordeal at work oh my gosh anyway so I used this washi to kind of um to kind of anyway to not only give a visual um contrast but I think it's I think it's pretty it's for it's to mark out to block out my work days and that's where the little briefcase is. I like to hand stamp my own stickers. I really enjoy using them. They're very simple and they're cheap to do. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Cleaning day. There's not much going on this week really. I picked up my meds. And I've decided to use the sides. Hi. Jody said hi. Hope everything is well. Yes, girl. Everything's going good. Um, I decided to utilize the sides of my planner uh, of the pages now. Um, I did put washi before, but now I'm like actually using them because I'm pre-planning in these um, to indicate what week um, duty week it is, and then um, what's going on with that's coming up with my daughter, um, swim lessons, everything. Like I have a lot of pre-planning um, in here, so that helps a lot instead of using a sticky note I just put it on the side margin and I really like that so these inserts are Fosunichi um, my summer's touch created them you can use mer 15 if you're interested um, in getting a discount um, but she has a lot of really interesting inserts and very detailed oriented inserts um, her dailies are really fun too 
I these this is all I have of hers right now but I do have a lot of others um, that I've used in the past but these have been like really helpful right now so I can use the whole year which is great um, okay so my next section like I said is my daily so I'll show do a quick flip of what my pages look like and then we'll go into um, setting up tomorrow's pages and then maybe I can print out and stuff like that kind of do that um, so this is what this was Monday the 15th I guess February I do a lot of layering like I said um, these inserts, I think, are Pants Planner Co. I already had these printed out. That's why I used them. These are one of my favorite inserts. Um, my Summer's Touch has a similar insert as well. Hers is grid, and it's a lot smaller grid. And I do like that because you can put way more in it. Um, then I started doing, like, a um, day on two page with some um, journaling, meal planning, that kind of stuff. You can just kind of see. Bible study, vacuum, my main focus, what's going on in the evening, two big important things I had to get done, like I'll pin, I'll use stickers if something really needs to, if something is, is more of, has more importance than some others. Here is Friday the 19th, I did a tracked weather here too. The 20th, started using my little kitty page flags. Again, hand stamped. I drew this and layered this on top just because I liked the contrast and the dimension. And then some simple, all neutrals. This is my favorite layout to date. I love how this turned out, it's so nice. I like how I had, um, I loved how this turned out. I drew the little icons in there and then just my focus for the day. Just, just some uplifting things that I needed to remind myself of. My list, my affirmation, um, my meals, again, another hand stamp. I like these because they're broken down into like morning afternoon night i really like that and then you even get some blank lines to use and what i normally use this for is whatever is timed like that's what i highlighted were the events um time specific events and then for example in the morning this is what i wanted to get done in the morning so for example here i have highlighted tidy and chores these were my main ones I needed to get done in the morning. Hey, Court, what's up? Thanks for joining, girl. So that's how I use that. I really like it. You can see I punched this day in its throat. I killed it. It was so good. Um, here's another example. I don't always use, I have a lot to do, but I have a lot on my mind. You did finally get to catch a live, Court. I hardly ever see you. Um... I know that you're a busy, busy girl, though. Um, so, yeah, some of my days are a little less. Sometimes they're really sp sparse. Like, there's hardly anything going on. But then I'll have, like, a heavy thought or something. I'll have, be heavy on the prayer or the um, affirmation, that kind of thing. So, yeah. This was my word for that day. Uh, again, kind of light on the tasks but heavy on the thoughts and inspiration don't feel bad court no don't feel bad no don't ever feel bad like i get it <laughs> it's fine honestly i don't catch anyone <laughs> and do lives and stuff i just don't have time because i'm doing my own lives you know um i didn't do anything that i planned on doing that day totally didn't do, do much I did a lot, but at the same day, I didn't. Like, I worked really hard this day at work, and I did some laundry. I planned, and I rested. Like, 
sometimes you need a rest day. I got my package from my friend. So I put this little note she sent me. She sent me some more of these post-its because I was like obsessed with them. She always listens to me. And I had a pretty hefty list. I accomplished quite a few, but I didn't have much scheduling, I guess. It was pretty cloudy that day. It was a good day to like rest. And then the Sunday, I always put my water tracker um, after the week is over on the Sunday page. I don't know what I'm going to do when this these post-its like finish. I got these from, um, I got these from Target like years back. Um, yeah, I didn't really do much. This little guy I made from some vellum, really cute. I've got a list of stuff going on. And then here's my tracking. This is my Summer's Touch, um, monthly tracker, I think. And I love this. It has such tiny lines and tiny grid, which means I can put so much. When I use Peanuts, I like Peanuts Planner Co. as well, but when I use Peanuts Planner Co., she has like three, it comes out three. I don't like that. I prefer less pull out, the better. I used to love pull outs, but now I'm like, no. Um, I... On my y'all got that good. No, <laughs> um, on other inserts, um, I couldn't get my whole 24 hours in to track my sleep. Um, and if I did, it took up the whole page. I was actually able to put my sleep and my mood on one go. So let's fill this sucker out. <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, I did not get much sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I guess I did. I got up at 2 a.m. and couldn't go back to sleep. Um, that was like Monday night, but okay. So last night I went to bed. I don't even remember. I don't even know when I went to bed. Let's say nine. And I went to, have y'all ever gone to sleep and then all of a sudden you're awake and it's like time to get up? I hate that <laughs> so much. I hate it so much. Um, I haven't been keeping up with my mood. Everything's been pretty great, though. I've been pretty solid. Pretty even, if you will. So, um, and so there you have that. And then on the back, I have my happy tracking. See how I'm able to, like, actually, um, log my information flat without having to take it out. I like that. That's why I like it being two pages. Um, okay, so I slacked a little bit on that. I'm going to make up for some affirmations, but I always try and do an affirmation in the evening too. I did my power hour already. We're planning now. I need to do my daily review. We're about to do that. I need some tea and pray and affirmation. So I'm about to do my affirmations with you guy, guys and daily review. So I went ahead and made a like cover page. Um, this was Monday. I decided to use my sp spiral deck stamp um, pages. I already had them made and ready to go. So why not? Um, this is what it looks like. I love this whole vibe. These are also one of my favorite daily pages. And it also forces me not to over mm, overdo it on the tasks because I have a tendency if I have a lot of room I want to fill up the page this helps me not do that so I'm going to use the spiral decks for a little while I really do enjoy it um it's it's a lot of fun uh again this is what uh, my gratitude my focus for the day um and then just like a review from work and then home um I did pretty well on my to-do list this day. I don't have to knock out everything, but you know, oops, every now and then. Now I filmed, but did not post. So I need to make a note letting myself know that I actually ended up not posting this day. No post. Okay. Again, hand stamp stickers. Yes. Um, this was yesterday. This was Tuesday. 
I did pretty well. I did that. I did fold and put away my clothes. Um, I decided not to do that, so it's canceled. Okay. My bullet key is super important um, to, to have. Oh, hold on. How do I explain this? My bullet system, I I'm, know it very well because I've been using it, but it's very important um, into understanding how I use my pages. Um, for example, the X is a cancel bit. Doesn't matter. Um, and then I really did well yesterday. I was on top of it. My spiral decks looks crazy. Crazy busy. You see how busy I was within this time frame I had multiple things going on and then I mean you know there you have it and then let's see this was my focus or question of the day focus question of the day just like I had some things on my mind um a review of continued to tidy I was pretty proud of myself gratitude and a little note from the day so here's today there's my water tracker. Okay. So you can tell what, where I switched like color uh, themes in my planner because my pages will um, mirror that or not mirror, but um, coordinate with my planner. So like my cover and my theme, you can see where I used more neutrals and I was in my brown planner you can see that in here I was using browns and neutrals and then you can see where I started wanting to shift from brown um, because I started using um, I'm still in the neutral here but I started using blue on Tuesday and I started wanting to shift into my flan theme I guess you could say okay moving on so fold put away clothes I've done that bake cookies I'm actually I made a bunch of monkey bread last night so no make checks mix I'm gonna move that over to tomorrow that's what the little arrow one arrow represents if it were two arrows it's to be rescheduled for a for a date further date um Print daily pages. I'm going to do that in a moment. Um, finish setting up deco. I guess I've, I've pretty much done it. I don't do a lot of deco nowadays. I like vellums and things like that. But as far as die cuts, I quit using them. Um, put dishes away. Did that. Dinner. Now I need to wash the dishes that I have left. So this is where I like I'm done I can't do much more I don't need to overdo it if I end up doing more than this um, I'll add a note on a post-it note and stick it on there or I'll add it over here so let me show you this is my Instagram I decided to do like an Instagram little spot um, I'm going to post a picture of my daily page on um, and my like planner theme on Instagram after the video um, but let's go ahead and do our daily review so I've got this periwinkle color that I'm using I'm gonna switch the color of blue I think for this I love Stadler's I really do I have a dark blue and I have like another is this the same okay no this is a lighter blue I'll show you the difference hang on okay I always turn it to the side the right if it's on the left side I always turn it on its side does anyone else do that but yeah so I always use a line or a dot or whatever. I just have some like cute bubbles, I guess you could say. These are the these dots right here. And I just use a white um, 
gel pen to make the highlight and it looks like little bubbles so I dig it I think it's cute but let me get my purple dots okay um how are you what's going on everything's going well just busy at work and stuff um I definitely work a lot but life is pretty, you know, solid. I'm just, the beauty of believing in Christ and giving it to Him is the fact that um, I don't really have to worry about too much. It's great. So I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. How are you doing, my summer stitch? Um, okay, this was supposed to be a pencil, but whatever. Okay, so today... was a beautiful day, a bit chilly, and that's sunny, and I tend to write in all caps when I'm in a ring planner, it's interesting. So, I'm going to tell y'all, um... Although my days go smoothly due to my trust in Christ, <laughs> today was more of a challenge. <laughs> my kids were kind of a mess today the kids were a bit more challenging but nothing I couldn't handle And then, if I want to make another point, I'll put another sticker down. Bam. And then, um, so, hmm, I'll use the periwinkle, I guess. Or I'll use a dark blue. Yeah, we'll do that. So, hmm. I'm not going to read this out loud because it's semi-private, but if you can actually read this, that's fine, but I'm not going to say it out loud, okay? Hey AJ, what is up? How you doing? Thanks for joining. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining today. doing it how you doing it how you doing 
Uh, AJ said, I'm great and loving this warm sunshine. Yes, queen. Tell me about it. Of course, I love cold weather, so it was still cool, though, but the sun was beautiful. Um, yeah, this situation right here that I'm not reading out loud, I'm sure y'all can probably read it. This made me so uncomfortable. So weird. Susan just got off work. Well, I'm glad you chose me to help you wind down. Excuse my cat. is really pretty too. I guess these are color blue so I'm going to use them. Look how pretty these are. Okay, I need to put Okay, so that's kind of how I, it looks at the end of the day. Um, these guys here, let's see what time it is, 603. Okay, I'm still on schedule, yep. This purple represents my me time filming, that kind of thing. And you see where this green, that's, I get off uh, pretty early this week, um, about 2.30, um, get home about 2.35, something like that. I actually have some me time. I take a shower. I... Do tidy. I'm trying to get into a habit of doing nightly cho uh, power hours or chores. Just a little tidy, even if I'm tired, because it's going to help with my anxiety and depression, first off, but it's, it's going to really keep the house going. And when I start swimming again, I'm going to need to keep the house up a lot better, because if I come in exhausted, like... <laughs> there ain't gonna be any cleaning I literally get through the door and hit the floor <laughs> when I work all day and then swim like it's it's too much so and then the pink is my daughter's stuff so although this is from three to seven this is where we have a, a, the busiest time for everybody my daughter has school, my husband has work, all that. We all go to work and stuff at the same time. Chastity said, yes, when I'm worn out and don't feel like picking up, I tell myself, future me will thank me. Yes, Chastity, I agree, girl. I just, I just can't. Now, when I have a depressive episode, like, there is no picking up. Um, I haven't had one in a long time, knock on wood. But, uh, if my house is already tidy... And I get into the routine. I've got to shut the window, y'all. It's dark outside. Um, and I get into the routine, then it will be, it won't be as bad. So. And I swear, my husband and daughter are the messiest people alive. Oh, speaking of, I gotta feed my family. Holy shit. Anyway, so yeah, I like how that turned out. What do you guys think? So, for example, if I were to need to add anything extra I would use one of the purple post-its just to balance out like <laughs> all the color um there's a lot of blue going on so if I need to highlight something I'll use my purple highlighter 
or use my purple post-it. So it just kind of goes, right? Right, right, right? Touches a pink too. I do like the pink in here. It's my, yeah, it's my vibe. So let's set up tomorrow. You, know, you can see that the color is going through a bit. Uh, Chash said, yes, when I'm worn out. Oh, hold on. Susan says, love the pages. Thanks, girl. I, I really, when I'm in my rings, like, my daily pages are my favorite pages. <laughs> Absolutely in my rings. Um, I love, I love my dailies and everything, but I definitely enjoy... It's just so, so functional and it's pretty too, so. Um, yes. Okay, so let's move on. And I'm actually going to print on my Toma River paper or just cut some down and put it in my, just put it in my rings because this is the last of my daily pages. And I'm really considering taking out all of this because I don't see myself really setting up a family section right now because I just added in to my weeklies. So I'll probably end up taking all of this out. These are all just pages, which I've been doing work in here, which I don't want to do. Uh, do you color in the spiral decks before your day or after it's done? Before and after. throughout, Before, throughout, and after. Um, my basic schedule, which we're about to do. I'm about to show you what we do. We're about to do a daily setup right now. We're going to do tomorrow's. I have um, a planner routine. And it includes my daily pages. Like, they're my most important pages tip for me and my most fun pages. So I'll add a piece of paper. So now I have two pages. And I'm really using what I have. I didn't want to print out anything when I set this planner up. So I'm literally using what I have. A spiral decks is, like I mentioned, my favorite way to do things. So let's set this up. You will see a little shadowing here, but whatever. I will cover that. Um, yeah, this will be fun. You guys will enjoy this, I think. So I pick whatever color I want. Usually, it, like, I used a dark purple. Let's see. Do you keep your inserts after the month? Um, I usually do until the end of the year. Okay. Uh, I can't say that's true. Uh, I try to keep them until the end of the year um, to do like an end of the year flip but every time I've planned on doing that it just failed miserably but I do keep them for a while but more than likely I end up burning them and letting all that misery go away but in the rings you'll notice in my daily pages I do not use any fancy stickers I use the dots I use my hand stamp stickers I guess I did use a little fancy sticker here and there I guess that's a lie but um, by the time it's all done and over with and I want to save my pages, I just don't feel like it's necessary. Um, but I don't hang on to them more than a year because it just takes up too much space. If I were in a bound book, then yeah, I'd keep that. But when it comes to rings, no, nah, I don't really keep them. But in this case, I'm really going to try... I think the reason why the one of the one of the reason one of the many reasons why I don't keep them is because I switch sizes so much and types of planners. So, you know, it's kind of hard to keep up with it all. But I I keep a couple of months, 2 to 3 months of dailies at a time in my planner and people are going to say, "Well, that's kind of redundant." But or kind of crazy or stupid but honestly I like to flip through them it's really fun um, I'm the same Jesse says I'm the same way with my stickers and rings yeah yeah girl now when I'm in my bound books we talk about stickers for days okay <laughs> but I'm more of a functional sticker girl anyway okay so let's do the date first now I am not gonna use the stickers that um, Kitty Zombie Co. gave me. I'm just going to write it in because I rather use my stickers in my bound book. Um, I just stamped today in the spiral decks. I pre-stamped this stuff. So I'll pro I'll do that again. So I'll just write in the day with whatever color I feel like using. Again, I always like to coordinate it with what's going on on the sides of my planner. So yeah, you're going to get some purple and blue again. 
see how I used like a lighter. I think I'm gonna do purple today. I'm gonna use this. No, I want the light purple. I'm gonna use this one. I can't believe it's Thursday already. Can y'all believe it? I need some new mild liners. Oh my gosh, these are running out. <laughs> Why do I hoard them? I don't know. I guess a little pink doesn't hurt either. I totally did that crooked because I'm not doing it like this like I should. <laughs> okay. Darker color or darker shade, if you will. go my sister says i'm good thank you what time is it there it is 6 43 p.m i always do my planning um in the evening after i do my chores sometimes i'll sit down and start doing it but usually i'm winding down from emotional day or whatever because working with kids is rather emotional Okay, so where I use my color code in my spiral spiral deck. So blue is is work. Um, I probably should go ahead. Like the dots don't do it justice. It's a different type of code, but it's around the same. Ooh, that glare though. There it is. Let's see. So yeah, whatever. Blue. Let's use the light blue. I liked that. Uh, I want to use my personal, but I'm having a hard time moving from pocket. Then don't do it. Your pocket is epic, by the way. It's so pretty. Um, don't do it. If you don't need to, don't do it. Like, if you're happy, don't do it. <laughs> I say that, and I moved to personal rings, and I'm glad I did. It was a great choice for me. But your pocket is your vibe. Keep at it. Although, girl, you kind of make me want to go to pocket, but I know that just one. Uh, I don't want to go through the hassle of all that again. It would be fun, though, I will say, but I do like having space. It's just a thing. I do love my Hobonichi week, so, like, it's everything. It's so good. Isn't that pretty? By the way, this is the purple leopard. Isn't that gorge on that pink? Uh, Susan said, I'm thinking of setting up a pocket. <laughs> okay, if you do it, I'll do it. Uh, my summer touch says, what weather is it there? It's cold, but it's sunny today. But it switches. It, it can be cold and sunny one day, and then it could be freaking crazy the next. It could be freezing, snowy the next or 100 degrees so we go through all the seasons in a week hell sometimes a day <laughs> depends Work. I need to hand stamp some more stickers you guys that's a thing here's my work sticker i do trim it down especially if i'm putting it on my swirl decks that's how missouri is yes girl yes pop 
Pocket is my favorite size. Very portable. It surely is. It surely, surely is. I love a good pocket size. That's what I used to use all the time. That used to be my vibe. Um, I started with personal, though, I must say. I think that's just where I was happiest for a long time. I'm trying to find, like, my happy place. So far, the Hobonichi Weeks has been pretty good. I'm just, I miss my rings. Like, rings used to be my, like, favorite thing ever. But functionally, like, I, I guess future, thinking of the future, like, how wasteful rings can actually be for me, um, paper-wise, it kind of hurt me to, like, waste so much paper, I guess. Um, but, I don't care. Let's see. AJ says, I call living all the seasons in one week the joy of living in the South. Yeah, girl, tell me about it. <laughs> AJ, you're right. Um, Definitely. It's just one of those things about being in the South. Okay, so Thursday, my daughter and husband get to stay home tomorrow. They are some lucky little bitches. Okay, lucky little bitches. Um, so it's really all about me tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when I get home, it's going to be go time. There's not going to be much time to myself. It's going to be like all about everything them I'm sure because um, they're going to be sick of each other by the time I get home well I don't know my daughter may not even be awake long. <laughs> like she may not even be awake more than a couple hours before I get home so who knows lucky okay but she still has tennis so I need to add that in there. I'm trying to keep my markers like coded, color coded, you know. But I'm not doing so good at that. Um, pink. So she has tennis at like 4:30 to 5:30. Ooh, this pink is fresh. I can tell. But that's all she got tomorrow. Lucky again. She's lucky. Let's tennis. Ah, chores. Okay, I need some personal time, like your girl has learned over the years that I need, like, I have to have some downtime because if I don't, then I will not be pleasant to be around at all. So, huh, no one wants an angry mom on their hands. Am I right? Am I right, ladies? So the reason why I go ahead and set up a basic uh, schedule for myself is because it holds me accountable, especially with the chores and whatnot, keeps me on task, keeps me accountable, and if something comes up or something changes, I just add it in my notes on a post-it or, you know, on this side of my page. Uh, I just need to, you know, stick with the game plan. And then I can see where there's gaps and plan to use my time wisely this way. I find the spiral dexes are easier for me to visualize where my time gaps are compared to, like, these. It gives me, I mean, this, I guess if I highlight it like I did here, I can see where my time gaps are. But, or, for example, my weeklies. I really like using these in this way because I can truly see. But for some reason, just the spiral decks helps me see it a little better. Maybe because it's in shape, it's in the shape of a clock, and it's set up like a clock. Okay, so it makes a little more sense, I guess you could say. But anyway, so I'll put down what 
I've learned not to overdo my tasks. Um, I also have learned not to stress over not completing them. But I'm not saying that I don't stress, though, because your girl totally does. So, let's move this. I have this little drawer to the side now with my pretty washies and stuff. I'm so happy. Like, ooh. Um, yeah. Let me pull out my purple one. Boom. And I also have learned that I like to kind of stick with... I don't like to have too many washies when I find the ones that I like and have them in the different colors. I, I like that a little better than having a whole bunch. I've learned that it doesn't overwhelm me as much. So, less is more, right? <laughs> Alright, so I've been putting, um, I need to put, like, a, I like to put a piece of something, <laughs> post-it or something, to indicate my, gra oh, indicate, I don't know what I'm trying to say, my words are not good, to put my gratitude and stuff on, but I like to cut it down, I don't like it to be too big. How tiny these scissors are. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Glue it down. Hey, I only had neat and hash you, babe. Pop. Papa. Allie hasn't eaten hashi. I don't know. Is hashi? Well, obviously not. I didn't know if you've eat fed her or not. No, I haven't. Okay, well, that's where she's hungry. I bet she is. Well, I'll take care of her. I'll be done soon. I'll be done soon. What do you want? What, what can I do? What do you want me to do? Boom. I like this washi. It's really cute. And again, it's that paper washi. I'm obsessed with paper washi. This color is really pretty, too. That one's so light, I can't even see it. I got these, like, hexagons that I like using squares. I love having the different shapes. It's really fun. Let's use the hexagon. Wait, why did I put it there? Hold on. Oh, well, it's down now. Uh -huh. Alright, gratitude for tomorrow. I need to purchase like big dots too, like different kind of color dot, uh, different sizes I mean. So I could use them. I'm going to try and mimic the setup I had last time that I liked so much. What 
bag are you bringing to work now these days? It's so funny. Um, to the past couple of days, I've been using my, I've been sporting my little backpack that I got for Christmas or my birthday. I forget which one. Um, because I've needed my hands free, I'm having to travel a lot more within the school, so carrying a bag on my shoulder kind of hurts. But I am probably going to be moving into one of my Sydney satchel or something. I will update y'all on a video if you're interested. I know that I haven't done a purse video in a while, so I'll do one pretty soon, okay? I promise. But right now I'm using my little backpack. It just works. It just works really well right now, so. It does what it needs to do. And it stays out of the way. Let's see. Where's that one that I like? Let me see. My favorite layout. It's not that one. This one. See how these are bigger than these guys? So it's going to be a little different, but that's okay. Fairly similar. Pretty close, right? Okay. Um, alright. And then I'll put... Sorry for shaking y'all. What are you guys carrying? Uh, where us uh, global warming everyone is talking about. It's cold all over the earth. Oh. Yeah, it was the coldest summer, I think. A uh, summer. The coldest winter, I think, we've had in like five years or something like that. It's been a long time. There's a, um, why not just outline it all, Kat? Let's see. Thursday, and it is going to be a Daily review. Okay, let's fill out a couple of things that I have to do tomorrow. It's not gonna be too much. Oh, yeah. Constant. I have to wash my hands by wash my hands. Wash my dishes by hand right now because our dishwasher broke. Fine or whatever. It's just a lot of extra daily tasks I guess to do. Actually, let me use. The bow one. I haven't used the bow one yet. You don't want to, like... Never mind. Never mind. What? Never mind. Really? I was like, you don't want to, like, tear some chicken apart. Tear some chicken for Allie and some rice. She's hungry. Well, if you tear, it's barbecue too. Just take part. If she's hungry enough, she will. All right, let's turn it to this side.
take this up and I'll make it soft. Julia, did you? Yeah. Yeah. She totally will. We don't have... We, we ran out of a shred enough. No, there's some. I saved it for that purpose. Where is it? It's in the drawer, the cheese drawer. Um, make beds, put my mattress pad back on my bed. Um, okay. And then, let's see. Uh, I'm still doing laundry, so finish laundry. Laundry is never ending. Uh, what paper do you use? Regular printing paper. Um, this is a file fax paper. It's like a smooth. I don't know what kind it is. It's really smooth. Um, this is a twenty-eight. Well, this is a thin paper. This is a thin paper, but I use a twenty-eight pound copy paper. Uh, before I started using Toma River paper to print on. Um. I use, this is my older stuff, but I like to use Tumor River paper. I print on that um, as best as I can. Let me see, hold on. Yeah, this is like coffee paper. The, the Tumor River paper, it comes in this white, too. So... Isn't that pretty? Ooh, so sexy. I think I'm going to cut some of this down and then just stamp on it and then um, punch it into my punch it into my planner. And I could get a lot more dailies in there by doing that too. Smells good. She'll dig it, yeah. If anything, I can make some more pasta. Yeah, that looks good. That. Yeah. Smells really good. Mix, checks, mix. Okay, I'm gonna make my husband some checks mix tomorrow. Probably even tonight, we'll see. Tomorrow, I wanna print out my daily pages tonight. Make checks. I'm gonna leave this as is. Make beds, put mattress pads, finish the laundry, make checks, mix. I mean, the dishes are just ha it's gotta happen every day. Why do I write it down every day? Because I need to. <laughs> I need to. It helps me out. I like to check it off. So this is what my days start off like, um, and then it fills in by the end of the day. Uh, gratitude's usually done in the morning, but it'll look like this by the end of the day uh, I'll end up filling in more or notes or prayer whatever I want I'll add notes or whatever so um, I filmed I did not plan on filming today but I just did didn't I so I don't have any room here so I'm gonna put here Okay, so that way I know. All right, so let's finish the flip. Um, I can't really go into work, but I do have some notes that I like to take, like this. They look like this. And then this is my work section. And then this is the paper. I just have a whole bunch stuffed in here. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. I've got some yoga sun salutation for the morning. I need to start doing it again. This is fun. It's a challenge. Yoga challenge. Goal planning. Hadn't set up my new one yet. I had an old one, but got rid of it. I mean, this is, came from, you know, it's helpful. Conversions. Laundry guide, actually. It's kind of nice. And then I got this stuff in here. Password. I mean, it's pretty boring. This is pretty, pretty boring. Uh, there's nothing else. I've got these 
cloth and paper note pages back here that I use for projects and stuff. And that's literally everything that's in my planner right now. Um, so this is the vibe we are going for. Now, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about and get your opinion on. Let me, let's put everything back in the planner. <laughs> Uh, okay, so because it's spring, I I like having this really cute graphic cat plus kitty zombie co gave it to me, so I'm kind of in love. If she told me to punch it, she'd give me another one. But I kind of love this too. Um, hold on. So I wanted y'all's opinion, and let me know what you think is better. Ugh. Do y'all like that better? Or the cat better? Honestly, I think I like the cat better. This glare gets my nerves. Now you just see a phone. Ah, so annoying. Ah, so annoying. There's no way to get rid of that glare right now. Um, yeah. So, do y'all like the flowers? It is pretty. It's really pretty in person if without the glare. Or do you like the cat better? Let me know what y'all think while well, I stick this back in here. I just did the same thing in my planners today. Uh, decorate in your planners for spring? I switched to flowers and plants. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I don't necessarily want to switch to flowers and plants. I like the cat, but I think this, this flower is really pretty for spring. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. I really love the graphic contrast of the of the cat. Plus, like I said, Kitty Zombie Co. gave it to me. So, you know, special place in my heart, I guess you could say. Y'all, let me show y'all. Did I show y'all my new... Um, flowers. Yeah, I knew washi tapes and dashboards and both are adorable. Oh, <laughs> AJ says flowers. It's a more feminine, I guess. Not as gothic looking. But as I look at compared to the rest of my planner, I don't feel like it goes. Maybe it does. I like that I can see my vinyls better on top of the flowers. But I also have these black ones too. Chow. Yeah, I don't like that. Nope, that's a no go. Someone gave me this vine, uh, vellum. <laughs> flowers, your cat are both adorable. Oh. <laughs> I've got such a graphic style all the way through. I love this one so much. So cute. Honestly, I think I just, I'm just gonna stick with the cat. I feel like the purples are off in this. I'm doing more like a pastel-y purple. And I didn't like the flowers with my new Ollie clip. I tried it, didn't like it. So, I think we're going to stick with this guy. Kind of goes with the whole vibe. I don't know. 
I'll probably switch it again. Don't worry. Switch the whole theme up. This looks great in any planner anyway. Okay. Let's put... This is my water tracking. I'm doing pretty poorly this week so far. It's kind of sad. Ta-da! And weekly... It's cute, right? Anyway, let me show y'all something. So, I got these from Kitty Zombie Co., but she sent me a whole bunch of new vinyls, and I kind of want to play with them. She sent me some more of these leopards because, hello, I'm obsessed with them, and she's so sweet to me. Look at this. This looks like my cat Misha. I really want to stick this on something so badly. And, of course, this one. Isn't that cute? Again, kitten family. You guys are great. A smaller welcome back to my channel because, you know, amazing. Courage, strength, those are my you know. Look at all these vinyls I have now. I don't know what to do with all these. I've always wanted a bunch of vinyls. And now that I have them, I don't know what to do with my life. Got a big kitten family. I love the heart. telling you these are and they look prettier once you put them down for example these purples like this purple looks way better once you put it down it, it's like it doesn't do it justice because she uses like a matte a textured matte plastic over the top that's very sturdy and it takes you can't you can't tell what the colors look like um but they're super vibrant under there so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Yeah, I love the cat too. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope it was enjoyable. And I'll probably hop back on tomorrow. So if you're interested, just let me know. I guess I'm doing a video every day this week. I guess it's kind of turned out to be that way. Um, I'm going to print out some dailies and I'll update you guys tomorrow on that. And... Until next time, you guys, I love y'all so much. Bye. Do you have a good